Hey everybody, it's King Akubis here and welcome to a little tutorial. Now, I've been getting quite a few comments from people saying, how do I get Carmen San Diego to work? It doesn't work on Windows 7, so I'm here to explain how to do so. There is a guide on YouTube, but apparently some people just don't understand that they're not tech savvy enough. So I'm going to be a little more comprehensive here. I'm going to take my time, I'm going to tell you all the programs you need and all that other stuff. So let's just jump right in here. First of all, you're going to need the game, obviously. Um, you, can, you can use like the CD the actual CDs if you want to, but I prefer that you actually just download it. Uh, just go into Google, excuse me, go to Game Graveyard, a Game Graveyard, and just search for it there. No direct links because I don't want to be piracy. Like I said, you can only download this if you actually own the disc or you at one point owned the discs. So yeah, now you're going to need three different programs to do this properly. First of all, you're going to need VMware Player. I'm actually at the wrong link here, so... Hold on. There we go. Uh, VMware Player is basically a program that runs a virtual machine, which is like an operating system in an operating system. So you want to go to this link, www.vmware.com slash product slash player, and scroll down, download, and then select this one right here. I've already have everything installed, so I'm not going to do that, but yeah. Second program you are going to need is Daemon Tools. Uh, you want to go to the website, www.daemon-tools.cc, and scroll down to Daemon Tools Lite, and download this one. It's a free download, so don't worry. And the final program you're going to need is Win WinRAR, which I'm not going to provide a link to, because you should have WinRAR installed on your computer. And if you don't, just Google it. It's not hard to get. Alright, so anyway, when you initially download the file off a game graveyard, you um, need to, it's going to be in a format called 7z. Uh, 7z is just another type of extension for a compressed file, so simply open it with WinRAR. If you can't, if WinRAR can't open it, just right click and uh, select open with and then direct it to, to WinRAR. It'll open up fine. Now when you extract it, that's the wrong folder again. Man, I'm up to it. Great start here. Um, just finding it. These are the files that you're going to get. And there. Alright, so next up you're going to want to install VMware Player and Daemon Tools. They're both really straightforward installations and you, you saw nothing. But anyway, they're both really straightforward uh, installations. So now what you're going to want to do is go over to Daemon Tools. You should have a little tray icon over here. If you don't, just go to All Programs. Daemon Tools Lite, and there you go, it'll take you to this. Now, if you don't already have a, of a drive here, what you're going to want to do is just click this, Add DT Virtual Drive. This will tech essentially create a, a, a virtual CD-ROM drive. Next up, what you're going to want to do is go to Add Image, and then find the folder, or the contents that are or extracted. I'm just showing this where mine is. And you want to set it to CD, C gctt one dot. Actually, no, that's not the right one. Why is it doing that? That's weird. Okay, but apparently it all it all works the same. Alright, so now what you want to do is just mount it. Just click on click on this here, click the drive, and then press this button to mount the image. And now it'll be mounted to the drive. <clears throat> Alrighty, so now, what you also want to check and make sure that the drive is set to E. Because basically put, when you put in the second CD, the game will ask you for disk 2. And when that happens, it'll look in the E drive. So if the game isn't on the E drive, you won't be able to play through the entire game. Okay, so in order to fix, let's say this is not E and we need to change this. So first we want to go to here, type in computer, and click on computer management. Next, we're going to want to go down to Disk Management, and now we can manage all, all our data. So let's say that, just say for the sake of this example, this was the it was taking up the E drive. We're going to want to right click, change drive letter paths, change, and then change. You can change the letter to whatever. I'm just going to leave it a G for now. And then what you want to do is go to whatever number the drive is set to. Again, change drive paths, 
change and change the letter to E. So now this virtual drive will be set to E. I actually need to re I'll do it in a sec. Alrighty, so now that that's all set up, we're done the initial part. Now what you're going to want to do is load up VMware Player. I'm actually just going to restart mine quickly here. Uh, I'm just going to power off everything here and restart. Alright, so let's, now we're going to load it back in. Just waiting for this to load. Any day now. Alright, there we go. Shit. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, now what you're going to want to do is, I'm using VMware Workstation, but VMware Player should be the same loadup for the most part. You just want to go to Create New Virtual Machine, and then from here, you're going to need a Windows XP install disk. If you don't have one, you're going to have to acquire one by some means. Unfortunately, I can't help you install an operating system. It takes like a half an hour at the least. So if you don't, if you need um like a step-by-step -step instruction on how to install Windows XP, just go look up a tutorial on YouTube. It's really not that hard though, and uh, VM will actually handle most of the install if you give it a disk. So yeah. All right. So let's assume that you were able to install everything properly. That's great. Let's go to our virtual machine, which is this one right here. Cannot open. Oh, yeah, it's because I changed it. Give me a sec. Sorry about that. Just had a little bit of an issue there. So here's the virtual machine. I'm going to power this on. I uh, just cancel this. Don't. I moved it. Don't care. Now I'm going to get errors because I changed everything up here. So we're getting errors. Deal with it. Alright, so now that we got a clean install in the virtual machine, what we're going to want to do is go down to the CD-ROM here, right click, and press settings. Now we're going to want to press use physical drive and set it to the E drive, which is the virtual drive. Press OK. And now we actually have to connect it. So if it's disconnected like this, just right click on it and press connect. You'll now have a connected CD-ROM CD -ROM drive and there you go, the installer is working. And if it doesn't come up like that, just uh, go start. If this thing, there we go. Go to start, my computer, and there you go. It's right here. It's labeled as D in here, but don't worry. Um, when the game actually looks for the second disc, since this one is set to E, it'll be able to find it properly. So don't worry about this. Now we're going to want to double click on this. And now we'll just guide you through the installer, just in case. We're going to want to install. Next. Yes. Next. Next. But it's now going to install QuickTime. You want to make sure that you install QuickTime. Uh, to avoid conflicts, to be in the process, just press Start. Let it gather all the information and whatnot. And install. Now you can play a sample if you want, but you don't need to. Just press Exit. Yes. And there, it's all completed. Uh, just for purchasing this, don't want to do, don't care about that. Okay. Close all that down, and there you go. If it all works, you should be able to press play Great Chase through time. And there you go, you're in game. I hope this guide has been helpful to those people who could not get the game running. And if you could, if you did get it running, let me know. If not, explain what you couldn't get working, and I'll try my best to help you through the comments section. So with that, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you, I guess, in my Let's Plays.